as I went over the top, uh, I thought I noticed a couple of particles go by on the outside of the airplane. At first, I dismissed this, thinking that I had, was seeing some dust particles that do float around in the cockpit while you're in the zero-G state. However, uh, I did pay particularly close attention to it as they showed up again, and it, it impressed me initially as uh, perhaps being some uh, residue, very small, flaky objects that may have come from the uh, reaction control system firing, the peroxide, of course, generating the steam as it fires. Then, uh, to very definitely confirm my suspicion, after seeing several of these particles, perhaps three or four of them, I looked out the left windshield, and there, sitting off to the left side of the airplane, it looked to be a piece of paper about the size of my hand, just slowly turning and tumbling outside the airplane. And of course, this is quite unusual and uh, did catch my attention and register. I want to uh, present this award with uh, great satisfaction. The names on it, the companies on it, the individuals who have won it, uh, uh, I'm sure are glad to have their names added to it because in so doing, uh, uh, the previous people have, are on it. So we're off of this, and you can take it with you on your plane. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with it, but it's, uh, it's beautiful, and we're glad to have you here. You want to say something? Maybe you can speak for everybody. Maybe you're Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of all the X-15 pilots, we're very happy to accept this uh, very wonderful and great aviation award. And I think all of us here represent various branches of the service in government, industry, and the military services, which denotes a team effort. And I'm sure the gentlemen with me today would agree that we accept this trophy on behalf of all those people who are not here present today, but who we think did a magnificent job in allowing us to get on with this uh, program and accomplish some of the objectives that we have achieved. So on behalf of all these people, we gratefully accept the trophy, Mr. President. Thank you. In what year may we expect a manned orbital flight under the present schedule? I think 1965 is a, is a good year. The pilots in your group are in their 30s and they're all married. Uh, is there any particular reason why, for example, a pilot of, say, 28 who's single uh, is not in this group? Well, <laughs> of course, you have to consider that uh, um, by the time a person has a necessary experience level, education experience and, uh, and flight time experience, and uh, experience in the flight test work, then that necessarily puts him in the age bracket in the early 30s. And of course, uh, one thing that you always have to remember is that, that our, our uh, attention isn't completely 100% devoted to experimental flight test work. And uh, I think it's a natural thing that all of us, uh, this 32, 36, would be married. Straightforward answer, but uh, it's about the best I can come up with. 